Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. This is a <laughs> this is a bad um, canvas. I'm, this is I'm still practicing. So this I've got a whole pile of canvases um, that I use. You know, they're fails that um, I can pour over when I'm practicing. So this I think I did with color art, and I tried to do some fractal stuff and. Yeah, no, and then it got dripped on. So the last uh, pour I did, I had the canvas like that and it all dripped off. So <laughs> we're gonna try this again. Um, different colors because I ran out of the other ones. This is a combination of dioxazine purple with enchantment and um, pinwheel. This, I'm not sure what it was, but I did put some ore in it, and hopefully it's a good paint. This is a combination of Amsterdam greenish blue with glisten. This is blue eyes. This is a combination of Aphrodite and mango. I just mixed them together so I could have a little bit more paint. I have this, not sure if I'm gonna use it. It's Hustle. I love this color, especially next to golds. And I have, um, I'm, this is one of my favorites, it's Parakeet. It's just beautiful. So we're gonna try another cloud pour, and this is it. I mean, I'm gonna do actual paintings after I practice. And I did a practice tile, and the tiles always turn out really cool. So I didn't like the center, so I, I put a little bit of um, cloud mix in the center. It's kind of kind of cool. So I like those colors together. And that one was just dioxazine purple. It didn't have the um, piggies in it. So we're gonna put this down as our center. There goes my raccoon thing again. And then we're gonna go right over it with this turquoise color. And then we're going to put some of our cloud mix in. Whoops. And it's coming down the side. Let me see here. It's, I didn't get it in quite right. There we go. Then we are going to put, mm -hmm, what do I want next to that? I think I'm going to try this copper color, which is the Aphrodite and the mango mixed. Not gonna have a whole lot of it. Then I'm gonna put just, this is really strong. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in, tiny bit, tiny bit more. <laughs> then I'm going to put the gold. And this gold is not the same recipe because I just I ran out of it so we'll see how this all works and after that I'm going to put some white all the um, consistencies are the same then I'm going to put some blue eyes I'm gonna finish that up then I'm going to put more of the turquoise. A little bit of white. It's only a 12 inch canvas. How many ounces do I have? I think I'm gonna be pretty good. Oh yeah, that's six ounces. And what else do I wanna put in the bot? Um, let me see here. Um, 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 um. I don't know if I want more gold. No, I didn't use this. So let's just use that up. It'll probably end up off the canvas anyways, which is tragic, but oh well. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little purple down here. And I'm going to put a little bit of this is um, sequins. I'm going to pour into that. Maybe just a little bit more purple. All right. So 
since purple is the color right here. And here we go. Oh, that's a lot of gold. Going to do a little bit of a ring pour now. I don't like this. I don't like holding, you know what? I probably should just not hold it by the, the handle. Slowing it down. Falling off over there. All right, let's move it over this way. Wow. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute or two. Wow, that gold and the pink mixed in. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna give it a torch. There may be some bubbles because some of these paints were kind of fresh. over to this corner there's a lot of paint on there so um, let me take my toothpick fix this yeah I'm gonna try and spin it Wow that's pretty cool I'm glad I did that. I've always wanted to spin a cloud pour, and this is it. Wow. Now, do I have enough paint off? It looks like it's still moving. There's, I see something right here that's hanging up. And right there. Oh. I like it, guys. I just hope I have enough paint off. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot to this. I'm going to let it... Um, might tilt it off this way to get these guys off or actually just see how much paint I have left on here. I like this corner over here. Actually, I like all the corners, so I don't want to muck them up too much. Oh my goodness. I spun out a cloud pour. And it's coming off. And these are TLPs. I'm gonna go back after I get this, this little guy off here almost there and then because those oh, oh come on baby come on it's always kind of good to stretch out your 
paints anyway, but these are getting really big at the top here. So I'm going to stretch them back. Now that that guy is off. Always wanna move slowly. I'm starting to like it now. They're getting stretched back. Ooh la la. I hope that gold didn't mess up things, but it doesn't look like it. Well, all right. I'm liking it. Um, of course, it's a practice canvas. <laughs> um, I don't even think this one didn't even have tape around the, the back. So I'll have to try this on a bigger canvas now and I might spin it as well, like a 20 by 20. What do you think? Should I do it on a 20 by 20? I'm gonna let it develop. So I am going to let you guys watch it develop. Um, and what happens is you'll see some definition coming through and then the colors really come up. So I'm gonna put you on super time lapse. Hi guys. Well, this took a while. I was able to mix up some paints for tomorrow for doing it on a real one. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, I put too much white in. So test canvases have their purpose. And the paints were just mixed, some of them. So that's what all the bubbles are for. It kind of looks cool though, with all the bubbles. And that shimmer. Gotta love it. Yeah, I'm glad I put the um, enchantment into the dioxazine purple. Tomorrow, it's going to have sequins in it. Look at that cell. Freaking crazy. Oh my God, they're all blooming over here. Ooh. Um, that hustle, which is the, it's, um, it's a neon magenta, goes really nice with that gold. Yep. And you can even see the blue eyes in there. The ore shows up all the time. It just does. It's so pretty. me happy because it's just like hey check me out look I'm here I might be little but I've got a lot of power <laughs> I'm a goof yeah so I'm kind of happy with this now I'm going to take you over to some whoops sorry too fast this is one of the test tiles I did That's a cloud pour. The more white you put in, the less your sparkle you're gonna see. So this was just the right amount. And uh, yeah, that's pretty. Whoops, there we go. Now you can see it. Mm So I'll put the recipe in the description. And this one has some, some tube paints with the piggies in it, like that right there is glisten mixed with, um, glisten is mixed with Amsterdam greenish blue. Sorry, I don't know why I'm shaking. Oh. 
and I don't think, I don't know if I put anything in that dioxazine purple. I think it was just on its own, but the glisten is just kind of taking over. It's beautiful. Ugh. And then I just did a little loop-de-loop -loop with the cloud mix there. Makes it look like a, the moon in the sky, kind of. So, I'm done testing. I'm going to do it on a big one now. And I think I've got the consistencies down pat. So, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now.